Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League predictions. Obviously a lot of the interesting fishes coming up, but anyway guys, you know what to do good, so I'll be from home if you enjoy it, subscribe for more, thank you for watching and let's go. So the first game we're going to talk about is West Ham versus Chelsea. West Ham drawing to Brighton this previous uh, midweek, call, call it a weekend now, and uh, Chelsea doing a 2-1. Uh, win Africa tried away to Watford. I just want to say the fan that received CPR at Fridge Road on that night and um, the very best of wishes and you know it's not nice but the game was suspended for around I believe about 40 minutes it might be a bit longer maybe a bit shorter but you know I don't really focus on time I was actually doing a watch on that night as well to the Liverpool Everton game, which we'll talk about when we get down to their fixtures. Going forward to this game, though, I believe that Chelsea will win this game, and I'm going to go for a 2 1 Chelsea win. My next one is the scrap down the bottom is Newcastle versus Burnley. Newcastle drawing to Norwich's previous week, uh, midweek. They, had the, they have won 14 games without a win. There's only one team that managed to survive that in the whole of the footballing calendar or the whole of the footballing thing, as far as I know. Now, Sheffield United, way back in 90-1 one season before the Premier League era was born, and it don't look good for Newcastle, but I still think the best way for Newcastle would be to go, to go down, uh, re, you know, gather and then come back up. I think they might be a bit stronger that way as well. Going up against the Burnley side this weekend, and Burnley did draw in their way to Wolves. It's going to be a very interesting game between Burnley and Newcastle. But I think Burnley might just edge this one, and I'll go for a 2 1 Burnley win. My next one is Southampton versus Brighton. Southampton drawing 2 2 at home to Leicester. And, you know, it's a very good. Um, Point for Southampton, they took in the lead twice, so I think they might be a bit annoyed about giving it. I think they took the lead twice anyway, don't quote me on that. I know they did take it once, going 2 1 up against us with Che Adams Edda, and you know, it's a very good, um, very good point still for Southampton, in my thoughts. Brighton drawing 1 1 away to West Ham, very good goal by Neil Maypay. Um, bicycle kick, over a kick, whatever you want to call it, and a good assist by Lamptey, and uh, you know it's a very good point away for Brighton, and it's the first uh, goal for Neil Mopé since September, so you're talking about nearly two months, or yeah, it would be two months since that uh, Neil Mopé scored a goal for Brighton. Going forward to this game, it's going to be a very interesting game. I'm gonna go. I think I'll just go a draw for this one, and I'm gonna go for a one all scoreline for that one. And there will be a watch along with that Southampton Brighton game on my channel as well. The next one is Wolves versus Liverpool. Wolves drawing at home to Burnley, very difficult, um, no gain there. Well, it's just got to be difficult, and I know Wolves haven't been playing that well either um, this season, so it's maybe a good point for Wolves as well. Going forward to Liverpool, Liverpool did beat Everton 4 1 away from home at Grinson Park. I did a watch along to that game, and Liverpool were on form. Going forward to this game, if I do play anything like I did up at, well, did across at Everton, I can't say. No, up Everton because it's literally just across the park. I'm going to go for a Liverpool win and I'm going to go for a 3 1 Liverpool win. My next one is Watford versus Manchester City. Watford are, you know, doing okay under Kanye Ranieri and, uh, you know, seems to be holding their own. It's going to be a very interesting game, but I do think Man City will edge it. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Manchester City win. 
My next one is Leeds versus Brentford. Brentford did lose to Tottenham 2 0 uh, away from home, and there's nothing really much to talk about there because you know Tottenham are starting to get their own way back under their new management. Um, Leeds, on the other hand, did beat Palace 1 0 at home. Late penalty, I did actually see that penalty. And I think it's a very good point, uh, very good three points by Leeds United there. So I'm going to go for a Brentford win. I think this week though, I think Brentford might want to come back and at least get a point or maybe three. But I'm going to go for a draw after saying all that, and I'm going to go for a one all score line for that one. My next one is Manchester United versus Crystal Palace. Man United. Doing a job over Arsenal 3 2. Michael Carrick's last game in charge at Man United. And it's he has now left Manchester United altogether. Uh, I think I wish Michael Carrick and the same as the rest of us all the best in whatever he decides to do in his future. And it's a very good, I couldn't say dominate performance because I do think it maybe deserves to be a point of peace in that game. but. You know, Ronaldo done it again, and now you know we'll grab the three points. Going up against the Palace side that did lose to Leeds United. Uh, Leeds, now Crystal Palace are a team that can go and cause an upset. But under their new management, I don't think it'll happen. So I'll go for a 2 0 Man United win for that one. It's going to be a very interesting game under that new management. The next one is Spurs versus Norwich. Spurs beating. For that home 2 0. Norwich, you know, doing okay in there. You know, sort of thing, drawing to Newcastle um, the previous midweek. Very good goal by Pookie as well. I'm going to go for a 3 1 Spurs win. My next one is Aston Villa versus Leicester. Aston Villa are. You know, doing their thing, losing to City 2-1 at home. Their first real big test for Steve Gerrard and that Villa team since Steve Gerrard took over. Now, look at that on the Villa side that don't look too disappointing or, you know, whatever. Um, I'd be very happy with that result if I was Steve Gerrard. Leicester, on the other hand, doing okay, doing their thing. Um, it's just going to be a very interesting game for this one and they did draw 2-2 to, 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 uh, Southampton away from home. It's going to be a very interesting game for this one though and I'm going to go for a, another 1-1 one, one scoreline for that one. My last one for this weekend is Everton versus Arsenal. Arsenal losing 3-2 to United at Old Trafford. Everton losing 4-1 at home to Liverpool. Going to go very interesting this weekend but the Crowd has started to turn on the team a bit and the results. They have not won a game in eight. Now I'm speaking about Everton, I'm not speaking about Arsenal, of course. But I'm going to go for a 2 0 Arsenal win. But anyway, guys, I'm going to bring this video to an end. Guys, you know what to do with that. Big fun, I hope you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.